Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, welcome to my analysis of Yoshi's Woolly World trailer from E3. I am so excited to see this game because seeing Yoshi as yarn reminds me obviously of the Kirby's Epic Yarn and Yoshi looks absolutely tremendous in this kind of design. It has a lot of heart from Nintendo, it's kind of like a texture based game. This time around, of course, Yoshi still can use his tongue to swallow enemies and turn them into projectiles, and it's kind of interesting to note, I guess Shy Guy was wearing a mask all along. After Yoshi does consume one of those enemies and turns it into a projectile, it kind of comes out as a ball of yarn behind him, again showing that class and style from Nintendo that just is true to my heart to make me smile. One of the coolest things about Yoshi that makes him one of my favorite characters is that there's so many different ways to attack an enemy, which includes just swallowing them, stomping on them, or throwing something at them. I want everyone to just take a look at the background right now, take a look at the foreground, how it almost looks like carpet. Everything in this game kind of looks like yarn, which is incredible. Right here you're seeing Yoshi kind of make platforms out of those by throwing one of his balls of yarn onto it, which then adds that texture to that platform so then he can jump on it and use it as a platformer. You might be wondering, are all the balls of yarn the same size? Well here, when he's trying to get to a secret, you can see that this brown ball of yarn that he has behind him is actually much bigger. So perhaps these can take on stronger enemies, perhaps they can do some unique things in the game when you have a larger ball of yarn. And of course to aim, currently the cursor goes back and forth and you kind of stop it wherever you want on screen to shoot. Here you see Yoshi shooting one of the larger balls to actually unlock a sort of secret flower that comes up. In many areas, you may see wireframe that actually needs to be filled with yarn in order to complete that object so that you can actually use it. Taking a closer look at that pipe, you can see that it was wireframe, Yoshi hit it with his purple projectile, and then he actually clears room for himself so that he can go into the pipe himself, turning into yarn, and go up into that secret area. Another thing Nintendo showed in the trailer is actually multiplayer play. This is outstanding, you can play as either a red Yoshi or as a green Yoshi together, or also working against one another to try and get a higher score. So let's take a look at these hearts though that first come up. It looks like each character has about 10 hits to start with. I'll get to that later on in the trailer. When two people are playing, it looks like both are kept on the exact same screen at the same time. Both here are trying to work cooperatively to obviously gain some gems and gain some more items. What's going on here is it looks like they're shooting a special item. These eggs actually, to me, kind of look like they're sort of clouds. So maybe when you throw these, they obviously make some clouds and a path that you can now run on as either Green Yoshi or Red Yoshi sharing that, and as they obtain another secret again. There are other objects that you need to use in the game. Here you see both Yoshis pushing some sort of a ball that looks like it's destroying everything, but I am pretty sure that you could probably push this with only one character. It's probably just faster if you push it with both. Bowling over piranha plants for the win. If you're able to swallow enemies, are you able to swallow your friend and turn him into a projectile? That's absolutely correct. In Yoshi's Woolly World, you are allowed consuming your friend, pooping them out, and using them as a projectile. Let's get back to those hearts. When you hit this item, you see four or five hearts actually fall down, and both Green and Red Yoshi then consume some of those hearts, and actually Green Yoshi goes to an 11th heart. This leads me to believe that you can get more than 10 in this game. Other items you can use to your advantage are Koopa Shells, which are in most Mario games, and actually when you work together you can accomplish quite a bit, but this game has no time limit in levels. Of course, if you consume your partner and you don't like the way they taste, you can immediately spit them back out again and use them as a projectile to your advantage. Yoshi's Hover is also back in this game, which is great to see, although this time they put obviously a yarn twist on it, as you see strands of yarn kind of go below Yoshi while he is hovering. It seems as though an arrow represents the end of the level, you jump through a hoop, and then you reach the goal. Pay careful attention to both of the Yoshi's feet, as they kind of do a transformation into wheels when you start moving quickly. There are sure to be many transformations in Yoshi's Woolly World. Of course, Nintendo wouldn't finish the trailer without showing us some sort of a boss battle, and here is such a cute animal, it kind of looks like a dog, that when you throw your projectile at it, it hits it on its cute face, and then obviously it falls over, and it looks like it's at least hurt if not killed. Nintendo puts such care and effort into each of their games that I personally can't wait to see this up close to person for the first time coming to my Wii U sometime soon next year in 2020. 15 Yoshi's Woolly World. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you fill that like bucket, follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, and remember as always, go collect them all.